It's the day after Reese was born, and we have just been here um, having tests done today. I had my blood test done, everything came back great. Um, Reese had her hearing test, and I think in a couple hours she's gonna have um, another test. I don't know what it is. Oh, I think they check for bilirubin levels, and then one other thing. Can't remember what. It is weight and bilirubin levels, I think. So they're gonna do that a little bit early today because we asked to do an early discharge. Um, hopefully we'll be getting out around six, so like the evening, hopefully. Um, the reason that I wanna leave instead of staying is because like last night, um, I, I didn't get any sleep at all um, because every time I would finally doze off, they would come in to take my vitals and check um, everything, so it was actually pretty brutal um, because it's hard to get um, when they're like fresh like this they don't really they don't understand like when it's night and when it's day so they just sleep whenever they want so um, the night that I went into labor I really didn't sleep at all uh, maybe two hours max so um, then after labor laboring and all that um, I was just so tired and I needed to sleep, but I couldn't ever fall asleep because, like I said, right when I would fall asleep, they would come in to do testing and then it would wake her up. And then she doesn't, you can't just, they hit me like they're, they're going to sleep when they want to. So it was just really hard. So I'm exhausted today. Um, and I just want to go home and be in my own bed and have my own shower and all that because... It's kind of like being in a closet uh, in this room that we're in right now. Um, so hopefully we're going to get to leave, but uh, uh, Reese, I keep calling her Adeline. Reese is cluster feeding and she's basically non-stop, non-stop feeding, um, which is fine, but uh, she doesn't ever take a break. So they'll come in and they'll be like, when's the last time she fed? And I'm like, she honestly hasn't stopped. She'll stop to sleep for a little bit, for maybe 15 minutes um, to 30 minutes. She'll sleep and then immediately want to eat again. Um, it's not like every two hours how they tell you um, in the beginning to make sure they're feeding every two hours. I don't have to like remind myself to feed because she will remind me. Um, but that's what's going on today. Everything has been going smoothly. I just ordered us some lunch. This morning we had Joe's coffee, which is my favorite for breakfast. We've been doing Postmates. Um, and we're waiting on our lunch right now. Um, Nick is watching a movie on his phone and I'm about, I'm watching, I'm about to rent something on my laptop. I just have my like laptop set up here and um, it's been really nice having the help of the nurses to like bring me my Tylenol and Motrin and um, you know, it's been really helpful, but I'm ready. I'm so ready to go home. It is exactly 6 p.m. on the 20th, and that was the fastest hospital trip that we've ever had. That was like in and, in and, out. and out. It really was. Her test all came back normal. There's no room for me back there because Nick put all our stuff. But there she is. So we're stopping at Target to pick up a heating pad for me and uh, I got like a bed table so that I can lay in bed for the next two weeks. Why don't we just stop at uh, Starbucks too so we can acclimate her early. Acclimate Reese? Yeah. For all our Starbucks runs. Right? Starbucks and Target is like a day in the life at <laughs> here in Shut up. Look at this baby we found. Let's go check her out. Ooh, yummy. It smells good in here. Oh, look at the baby. Look at the baby. Watch that tail, Zill. Look at that little 
little bundle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Wow. So out of line. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys. How sweet. Cupcakes. Out of line. Look. And we have. Look, baby. Wait, 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 wait
when she was born she was eight pounds two ounces and then I think the day we left she was eight pounds even and then today she was seven pounds eleven ounces so the doctor said that's normal and she's not worried about it um, but we ordered a scale on Amazon just to like keep an eye on it it's gonna be here tomorrow so but also my milk hasn't come in yet so I think that once my milk is here I think she'll be gaining weight just fine but we didn't really experience this with other girls I think that every time we went that they got weighed they were getting heavier and heavier so she's my little tiny one but um, I think it's gonna be okay it's normal I think most this happens with most babies so we are um, we're getting Chick-fil-A right now. I, you guys, I am so ravenous. I'm so hungry. I, I have not, I remember like, like with Skyla and Adeline after I had them, I was so hungry. And I don't know if it's from being weak from labor, um, coupled with nursing, but I'm just so hungry. I feel like I can, I can definitely, I'm going to eat more than Nick. We're going to, we're going to town right now. You look like a little gesture. Uh, you hungry, Puka? mom have the girls outside and they're playing I think they're having popsicles outside while I edit and Nick went to Home Depot because our like little trash can thing broke off so he has to go get new hardware to fix it um, so I'm just about to finish this uh, the labor and delivery vlog is like so amazing like watching everything back and reliving it all right we just finished editing we stayed in here with me the whole time while I did my editing for the birth vlog and I'm finally done oh my gosh I'm like that's aloe vera gel because I had that out the other night when I was frantically looking for Reese's heart rate on the Doppler the night I went into labor um, but tomorrow we have our photos we're doing family photos for um, Reese's newborn photos but we're also gonna do a couple as a family and that's tomorrow and we have to be up really early um, I have someone coming to do our hair and makeup because I felt like I would be tired and I wouldn't really want to deal with that. So I'm having having someone else come to do it for us. I thought that would be a nice little treat after um, how tired I am. <laughs> but I'm really excited. The girls have the cutest outfits. I can't wait for you guys to see them. Um, these pictures are going to be really fun. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. changed into our PJs and we put mittens on because she's, my mom got them for her. They had a little surprise um, birthday party for Reese today. It was super cute and my mom got her these and some little booties and so we've got her changed into her PJs and Nick and I are, Nick wants to watch Men in Black or something. Is that what you want to watch? Huh? Hello? Men in Black. So... We, we just got in bed 
and my mom and next mom put the girls to sleep and they've been doing so much for us cooking cleaning doing everything so that Nick and I can just rest and enjoy uh -huh. being parents of three now You try to eat my hand. She just fed a ton, so much that she spit up. So um, I know she's super full, but she's still cluster feeding. But I think my milk is starting to come in. Oh, bless you! Oh, bless you, honey. <laughs> oh my God, she's so perfect. By the way, the snoo was a game changer last night. She loved it. Um, and I actually got a little bit of a three hour stretch um, last night to sleep. And I think the snoo had a lot to do with that. We used the Halo Swivel Bassinet with Skyla and Adeline. And with, um, oh. with Skyla, oh. she ended up getting a flat head. And I, I oh. think that that bassinet in particular is really hard. Oh. Um, and so... We tried it again with uh, Adeline when they had come out with a like a little insert, a newborn insert that fills it up. It's kind of like a little hammock, and we liked that with Adeline. But Adeline didn't ever want to sleep you unless. Don't see it no, honey, I don't know where the remotes are. Adeline never wanted to sleep unless she could like feel like my warmth, and it was so hard. She just didn't ever want to sleep in it. And so I was kind of worried about that with Reese because she's really snuggly too and she always wants to be held, um, which of course is the best thing ever. And I'm not, I, I love that. I'm not complaining about it, but she's very attached just like Adeline was. And so I was worried that she wasn't going to sleep, want to sleep in the bassinet. And we ended up doing a lot of co-sleeping with Skyla and Adeline um, with the Docatot because they never wanted to be in a bassinet. And I just wanted to at least really nice I really was hoping that this new was gonna work and I I hope that it continues to work because night one was fantastic and I just hope that it continues to work because she likes it um, but it's only been one night so I don't know what I what do I know but if you guys want to try this new out I'll put my affiliate link in the description bar below the video but I'm gonna end it um, thanks for coming along with us uh oh, we got a little spit up. Uh oh, it's okay. It's okay. Let's burp. Thanks for coming along with us for Reese's first day home. We're seriously on cloud nine right now. Um, but make sure you're subscribed and hit the thumbs up button, and we will see you guys in our next video. She smells so good.